everybody, how are you doing? Hope you're keeping safe out there. Today I'm reviewing the Mattel Masters of the Universe Masterverse Masters of the Universe Revelation Classic Teela. God, that's a long name for a figure. But it's a good figure, so it's worth it. This, as I said, comes from the Masterverse line, which is Mattel's 7 inch scale Marvel Legends contender for Masters of the Universe. And I've got to be honest, I've had a rocky start with these um, figures. <clears throat> yeah, the actual Revelation figures I originally got, I didn't like. But the ones I've had since, I think have been really good. And Teela here is no exception. This is Teela from the Masters of the Universe Revelation Netflix show. And say what you will about that show. I know some people liked it, some people didn't. But it was nice to see the brand refreshed a bit. And this figure is how she appeared in the show when they did flashbacks to a more classic time in the Masters of the Universe. So yeah, this is a classic costume as depicted in the show. And I think you can agree, it looks really, really great. The colours pop really well, the whites, the golds, the flesh colour looks really great. The boots, the fur detailing, the gold bangles, everything on this figure. Stupendous. I love the fact as well, it's pinless. They were doing this before Marvel Legends and they, I think, do it just as well, if not slightly better than Marvel Legends. All in all, sculpt-wise, paint-wise, I have no faults with this figure. It's beautiful. It also happens to be articulated really well, as well. Double-jointed knees and elbows, universal joints at the hips and shoulders, bicep swivel, ankle tilts, all the modern stuff you really want. A nice diaphragm joint and waist swivel, a nice combination you don't even see in Marvel Legends. But here, two work together really well, and the sculpt of a skirt, a dress, a a uniform, let's put it that way. It's a very soft plastic so it doesn't get in the way, but at the same time it feels robust enough that I don't think it's going to break or crease or tear. In terms of, well, sculpt, as far as the face goes, I think you can agree this is a really, really beautiful looking face sculpt. It's that classic Teela design with the hair done up, and the hair detailing, by the way, is, is actually really, really great. The sculpt on it is really intricate, the paint detailing really brings out the details in the sculpt, and that tiara just frames the face perfectly. But you don't also get this head sculpt, you also get another one. You get her without the tiara and the hair just loose across her face. This is referential to a scene in the cartoon. And I actually really like this one. I'm kind of tempted to actually take this head and paint the hair blonde to get me a much more original uh, Masters of the Universe mini-comics Teela style, because in the mini-comics she would occasionally appear with just long flowing blonde hair, and I think this head is a nice starting point for that. In terms of other accessories, she comes with the, uh, as you can see, the um, fists, uh, the one fist, sorry, and the one open hand, which is, <laughs> but she does also come with, that's better, a pair of holding hands, or gripping hands, to hold her accessories. She comes with a sword and a shield, both are really nice, the shield's cast in a gold plastic, a little bit of swirliness to it, but it looks alright. Sword's really well detailed, and she holds them both really great. And they both look good in her hands. They're the kind of accessories you'd really want her to come with, though. If I'm honest, I wish she came with a bit more. I know this figure is, is supposed to be how she appeared in the cartoon, and in the cartoon she just had these two things. But I kind of hoped, as a classic Teela, we maybe would have got some of the extra level of details or extra level of accessories to really make this a fantastic Teela figure. Like the classic figure, as well as the more modern Origins figure, both come with the Cobra Staff and Snake Armor. Which These were merely never really shown in cartoon or anything like that, occasionally in the early comic books. And I can understand why you wouldn't add them in as an accessory, but at the same time... They're iconic accessories for a Teela figure. Now, I know the rumour is that later this year, early next year, we're getting a new Eternia version of Teela, which is the line where they take Masterverse figures of Masters of the Universe characters and add in elements from early concept designs and stuff like that. So there's a very good chance that that version of Teela may come with those things. But I kind of wish this one did too. But I can't really complain because this figure only cost me £14. That's a steal for a figure like this. I think that the pushback against Teela in the show really meant people didn't want to buy the figure. I think if that's the case, you're missing out because this is a really incredible figure. And just to compare it to some other Masters of the Universe Masterverse figures in my collection, uh, let's put it up against... Ooh, let's put it against these two. Let's put it against Skeletor and Zodak. 
yeah, she's not quite as tall or robust as the two of them, but she's still a very powerful looking female sculpt. She's still imposing next to them. She doesn't look any lesser than them, even though she is slightly smaller in stature. She still looks just as impressive as far as a figure goes. Similarly, next to the 40th anniversary He-Man and the new Eternia Stratos, they are bigger figures, but they do not in any sense dwarf her. She still looks great with them. And here she is with two of the larger figures, the new Eternia Beastman, who I really like the figure, but I think he's the only Masterverse figure I've handled so far outside of the original Revelations, Skeletor and He-Man, which weren't great. This is the only one I've handled so far that I think it kind of misses the mark. I don't know if it's plastic tolerances or paint or whatever, but that's the only not fantastic Masterverse figure. Not to spoil any upcoming reviews, but yeah, they're all bangers to be honest going forward. Oh, and also I put, thought I'd put in the Man Thing builder figure for Marvel Legends just so you get a scale of her compared to a Marvel Legends figure. So, all in all, what are my final thoughts on this figure? I think this is a really great figure. If you're a Master of the Universe fan, I highly recommend it's a stupendous pickup, especially as a £14 on Amazon, free delivery, you just if you've got the change in your pocket, pick it up. If you've got a Masterverse collection, add it to add her to it. She's a great figure. I will probably still also get the new Eternia version when that comes out because I'm, I'm hoping it has that snake armour and and if it does, I'll get that and because I'm a sucker for those really early comic books, I also hope they'll take that figure and maybe release it as the Green Goddess from the very early days of Master of the Universe, one of my favourite character designs. Teela figures tend to get redone into the uh, Green Goddess, so here's hoping that figure, or maybe even just this figure, if that new Eternia figure turns out to be just this figure with more accessories and a few little added bits, I'd be happy because, as I said, this is a great figure. Well, that's it, folks. I uh, hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, please leave a like. If you've got anything you'd like to say or your own thoughts on the figure, please leave a comment down below. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe for more videos in the future. And until next time, folks, I want you all to stay safe, stay sane, and keep on rolling. And I'll see you all next time. Ta-da!